Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over cookies. So cookies are like local storage, which was the last video, um, in the sense that you are able to store information on of your web application onto the hard drive or onto your computer. The, the purpose of them is a little bit different though. So local storage, the purpose of that is I have a web application, I want to save information so that when I close my browser, turn off my computer, restart it, it'll still be there. The purpose of a cookie is more to give information to the server that you are connected, um, uh, to, to which your, your system is connected. So in other words, let's just say, for example, I am going to browse the internet and I'm going to go on a banking um, website, okay, and I have a web application for a, a, a banking website. The banking website might ask my web application to create a cookie in terms of when was the last time I logged in, for example, for security reasons. So it would keep the information on my hard drive. Next time I logged in, the information in the cookie would be sent to the server to the bank, and the banking server could read it and say, oh, last time you logged in was yesterday or something like that. And it would notify me of that. Now, I'm not saying that that's how that actually is done. Because banks do, or institutions, do actually track, sometimes, um, for security reasons, when you last logged in. But that's probably not how they actually do it. But I'm just using that as an example of, of what a cookie actually is and why you're using it, as opposed to local storage. So local storage, save it for your web application, cookie, save information for the server. And again, in the future, we're going to go over servers. I'm eventually going to get there. Okay. So in this, this time, we're just going to make a very simple web application. Okay. So we did the pub serve thing right here and, um, local host 8080. Here is our web application. Same thing as before. First name, last name, clear add display. Our HTML looks like this, first name, text, text, last name, div output, and then there's going to be a button for clear, button for add, button for display, all right? What I'm going to want to do is type in some names, add means it's going to create a cookie, display means it's going to, I'm going to put in the first name, it's going to display the last name, and clear, it's going to clear the name in which I put in, all right? So I'll explain that in just a second here. Let's instantiate everything right here, all of the buttons and elements. Then I'm going to say add name, which is the add name button on click listen. So we're open, opening up a stream and this is the syntax. This is the style. So cookie dot set, by the way, I guess I should have done, um, dependencies cookie. That's a package. Then I'm going to say import package cookie dot cookie as cookie. All right, because what it is, the, the methods that you can use for this are get, remove, and set. Those are the methods for the cookie package, the cookie class. What it is is set, cookie.set, you will set. These are strings right here. So what you're going to say is if I create a cookie, by creating using the set, you create a cookie onto your onto your computer, and it says this string and this string. So it saves it the same way as a map, right? This is the key, and this is the value. So set first name dot value is the key. Last name dot value is the value. Okay. Then I'm gonna say clear dot on click. Clear is right here. It's the clear cookies. It's not like um, the local storage where it wipes everything out. What what clear, what um, cookie dot remove does is it removes that particular cookie. So if I click on the clear button right here, it's go and I put the key value. It's going to remove the value. I, I I keep saying that. If I I put in the key, which is a string, it's going to remove the value. Okay. And if I put display, okay, now we know how to create a cookie with saying set. Now, how do we retrieve the information? So we're, we're going to say cookie.get, put in the key, it will return the value. And output.text, the div element, right? Output.text, it's going to type the output last name. So it should be pretty straightforward. So let's just say, 
I'm going to put in um, John Doe. I'm going to add him there. Okay. Then I'm going to say like Donald Trump. Add him. Then I'm going to say like Jean Smith. Add her too. Okay. And then I'm going to say, oh, you know, I met this one guy. I can't remember. John, John something, John, John what, John? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right, John Doe. Oh, right, right. And there was this one um, other guy I met. He was Donald, Donald Duck, Donald something, Donald Sutherland. What was his name? Uh, oh, Donald Trump. Okay. So that's how we get the cookie. So the functionality for local storage is exactly the same, right? And if we go to more tools, developer, developer tools, Instead of local storage, it will be under cookies, and it'll be saved under the map form, right? Key value. But what if I say, uh, I want to remove some of these? There's no real method where you can just wipe it all the cookies clean, except on your browser. Uh, there is a way to wipe them all out. I can't remember right now. But the um, from a programming point of view, you wipe, you you delete the cookie information one at a time. So you would say, um, I want to get rid of that John guy, let's clear up that key. You clear that, hit, hit the clear button, and this will clear up. How do I know? Well, I'm gonna have to redo that. So it goes away that way, okay? So I wanna clear up Jane, clear her, okay? And But if you display it, it won't go because it's actually deleted. But if you add it, and then you display it, it's going to be last name right here. So I, 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 even though it doesn't show this, this does not get automatically updated. No real big deal. If we update it, we'll see last name right here. See? So, so that's what actually happens. So again, I'm not sure when we're going to start using cookies, but it's just I wanted to introduce the idea. Since we were talking about local storage, I wanted to talk about cookies. What the difference is, again, local storage, local when you use it for your web application only, cookie, when you use it for giving the server information in the future. And we still haven't talked about servers, and we'll get there in shortly. Okay? Thank you very much.